All right, guys, this is going to be a speed run core 2021 collector's booster box opening. We're going to open this under five minutes, separate the extendeds versus rare foils, lands, and commons, and let's get this box opening going. The last core box collector box opening we had, it wasn't so great. I know we have some pretty good cards in here, and I know we can pull a veto. That's a $10 plus card. We got uh, two extended the Tefiri's Aegis Insight Showcase and Liliana's Wicker of the Dead Mythic Foil. Just a reminder, top three cards of the set are Terror of the Peaks Extended at 41, Ugin Showcase at 31, and Ugin Borderless at $31. The Showcase Foil lands range from $0.50 cents to $1, so make sure you guys keep them to the side. Spore Weaver, we have a Simulacrum, uh, alternate art that's called alternate it's not borderless and that pack was an example of some of the junk you can pull but hopefully we can do a lot better than that you get all these basries and liliana's boy toys in there and there you go ugin the spirit dragon borderless foil and those are the cards we want to see from the rest of this box and yes there is still some curling issues for foil cards in Core 2021. So make sure you guys sleeve it quickly before they become Pringles. All right, here we go with pack number four. Ugin is a nice start to the box. Showcase Mountain, another Ugin. This is a non-showcase, non-borderless, but still a nice hit there. See the Truth Extended Foil, a Chandra Heart of Fire Borderless Mythic. So nice little pack there with some value i think i just wanted to open up some core 2021 because watsi decided not to go with any core sets this year at all and we'll be opening up some collector's adventures in the forgotten realms in a couple days excited to open up some dragons and dungeon module cards we are also having a group box break of modern horizons 2 set boosters this thieves guild enforcer extended pretty nice some more junk in the middle. Containment Priest. And that's it. So that was a pretty junk pack there. But from my experience, it seems like you guys continue to want to see Modern Horizon Collector Booster Box openings. Everyone just continues to love the fetch lands. But I'll also be doing the 12 retail collector packs of adventures to compare it with the collector box from the hobby box. We got a Temple of Epiphany, another Fabled Passage. I pulled two foil Fabled Passage. Another Ugin Borderless pull. Wow, three Ugins in one box and double Tefiri's Protégé. I think pulling three Ugins, we can consider this box a winner. There's still plenty of valuable cards in this set. Looking to pull a Terror of the Peaks. Massacre Worm is pretty decent and a Cultivate Alternate Foil. Let me organize this quickly. Got to put the alternates into the extended and borderless pile. All right, we have three more packs left. Let's see what else we can pull for value. A Fiery Emancipation Extended Art. That's a nice hit there. I think that's $20 plus. Temple, Garrett Containment Priest, another Cultivate Foil Alternate. On average, in these boxes, you can pull between th two and three Cultivates, two and three Containment Priests. So pretty common, but they still go for a couple bucks. We have a Carvec, the Spiteful, Discontinuity, a Stormy Entity. That's a 10 bucks plus for the foil extended version. So pretty decent there. All right, guys, we're down to our last pack. Hopefully we can get some last pack magic. We are under five minutes for this box opening. Speaker of the Heavens for the extended, Garrick's Harbinger, and a Garrick, a Mythic Planeswalker to end out the box so pretty decent for the pools that we had uh thanks for watching guys make sure you guys tune in for our next video for the giveaway